Hi everyone, if you're new here to the channel, my name is Ovi, I'm a first year medical student. Today we're going to talk about pre-med majors and undergraduate degrees, and welcome to Ovi Med. Alright, so today in this video, it's going to be the first time ever that I'm going to be using timestamps. So I'm going to put them up right here so you can navigate through the various questions I'm going to be answering today. So let's get to it. All right, so first things first, here in Quebec, Canada, uh, except for McGill University, there are no majors for undergraduate degrees. There's no distinction between major and minors. So you choose the program that has your major interest in, like biochemistry, neurosciences, microbiology, etc., and stuff like that or whatever. Some of these undergraduate degrees will allow you to have some optional courses in the later years. Also, here in Quebec, you can get into medical school straight out of CGIP. Uh, which is like one year more than high school, the equivalent uh, in the United States. And that means around 19 years old, but that's only in Quebec. So all the other provinces in Canada, you're going to need to have an undergraduate degree like most uh, of the United States, if not all of it. So anyways, it's a bit complicated, but if you want me to make a video about how to get into medical school in Canada, just let me know and I'll do it. So what did I do for my undergrad? Uh, well, I finished my undergrad in biomedical sciences at the University of Montreal here in Quebec, Canada, um, but that's not how I started. I started my undergraduate degree in microbiology and immunology, saw the University of Montreal, but then I transferred after one year. And now you're gonna ask, why did you change programs after one year? Well, for a few reasons. Mainly is, uh, it's and it's my fault, uh, I didn't look closely enough into the courses I was gonna have, and I thought that since it was in the Faculty of Medicine, well then, I would have more microbiology, like medically oriented microbiology and immunology and stuff like that. But uh, as it turns out, that wasn't the case. So the courses were not of particular interest uh, for me. And since I was in microbiology, we had all sorts of courses like on environmental microbiology. And, you know, we had like literally class on how to make cheese and another one on how to make wine and beer. But, uh, you know, that wasn't a particular interest for me and trying to get into medical school, you know, so what I liked and it just didn't interest me at all. I didn't enjoy learning that kind of material. And we had all sorts of environmental courses like interaction between bacteria and plants and stuff like that. And I just didn't enjoy it at all. I was having like a bad time, not gonna lie. And since I didn't really like what I was learning, I wasn't studying all that much. And obviously when you don't enjoy what you're doing, well, you're doing it poorly. And that reflected in my grades as well as my GPA. So that wasn't really good for me. And so then I decided to look at other programs that were available. I decided to change program. I decided after one year, actually after my first semester only, um, I decided that, you know, that was enough. And I don't want to do like the remaining years of that program if it's going to be like that. Then I did look at the program outline and it was going to be like that. So I said, enough is enough. I'm going to change programs. So why did I choose biomedical sciences for my undergraduate degree? Uh, well, for a few reasons. Um, I was hesitating at first between neurosciences and biomedical sciences, but at the end, I came to the conclusion that biomedical sciences was best suited for me personally. So uh, the reason was um, that I would see most of the organs and systems in the body uh, as part of the curriculum in biomedical sciences, as opposed to neurosciences, where you would like basically only do neuroscience for, you know, your whole time that you're there. And in biomedical sciences, you know, would have um, anatomy, would have physiology, would have histology, would have um, pathology, then I would have endocrinology, um, neuroscience, immunology, microbiology, all the basic science courses like biochemistry, genetics, molecular biology, and et cetera, et cetera, and all that stuff. So uh, for me personally, I think biomedical was the right choice and I'm really glad I did it because uh, right after I changed programs my grade went up so you know it's normal when you enjoy what you're doing um, you get better results out of it so moreover in biomedical sciences I was allowed to transfer most of the credits that I had done in microbiology and immunology um, so all my basic science courses like biochemistry molecular biology cellular biology uh, genetics um, ethics, what else, uh, microbiology, uh, I was able to transfer all of that into biomedical sciences. So that means 
that I wouldn't have to start all over again. Like I wouldn't have to add another year to what I did already. So another strong point of the program uh, that really attracted me is at the end, you have a full semester worth of research experience. So usually what that entails is that you're going to go into the lab of a teacher from your university, or if you know another teacher from another university, well, you can, you can go into their lab and you know, you basically have to design your experiment or your help with a project that's already running in the lab. Uh, and then you have to write like this big report uh, about what you did and then present it in front of judges uh, from the program. So I thought that that was really like a great experience to have. So now then let's tackle the big question. Does your undergrad major matter when you apply for medical school? It depends. Obviously you will have an advantage over those who choose a non-biological science undergrad since you can tailor your undergrad at least in the United States and get some courses that will match the subjects that you will see on the MCAT. But that's if you're really intense about it and you will have more research opportunities through your professors. Moreover, uh, don't forget that you need to satisfy all the prereqs of medical schools. So on average, you should have at least one year of chemistry with labs, biology with labs, organic chemistry with labs, same thing again, and at least two maths or physics courses, depending on the, the university. And then some other medical schools would ask for other courses on top of that. So someone asked for an English course, or literature, whatever. Someone asked for like an ethics or psychology and stuff like that. So uh, make sure you satisfy all the prereqs because if you choose a non-biological science majors on top of your existing curriculum and all the courses you need to do, you're gonna need to do all these biological science courses on top or in the summer if you can do that. And by choosing a biological science major, uh, well, all these prereqs and courses will already be included as standard in your curriculum. So it won't be as much of a headache to just try to organize and figure out what prereqs, what courses you need to do and stuff like that. So an unscience major is likely to make you stand out a bit from the crowd in medical school applications, since most of the people who are applying for medical school have a biological science undergraduate degree. Later on, I'm gonna show you some data about that and you're gonna see that it's indeed the case. Um, however, you need to make sure that you did all your prereqs, otherwise you're not gonna be able to apply. But at the end of the day, I think it's more a matter of personal choice. And I don't think that schools will really discriminate between someone who has a biological science degree and someone who did their degree in like music or literature or something like that. Uh, but now let's look at the data. All right, so here we have a table for the 2019 application cycle from the Association of American Medical Colleges. Um, so here you can see the average MCAT and GPAs for applicants and matriculants to US medical schools and they're organized by primary undergraduate major. And I also put the link to this table in the description down below. So if you wanna go and have a look by yourself, uh, well, feel free to do so. So here we can see that last cycle, more than half of all the applicants came from a biological science major. Here we can see that biological sciences represent 57.5% of all the applicants. Then we have humanities at 3.33, math and statistics at 0.64, other at 16.4, then physical sciences at 9.25, social sciences 9.37, and specialized health sciences at 3.67. So also something interesting you can see here with the total average MCAT scores is that having a biological science major does not guarantee that you will have the best score on the MCAT. As a matter of fact, it seems like those from other majors almost always will score above but please remember that those are only average scores and might not represent your personal situation. So now then, if we come to the lower part of the table, here we can see the acceptance numbers. And at first sight, it might seem like people from biological sciences get accepted way more than any other major. So 12,000 matriculants might seem like a lot, but remember that more than 30,000 people have applied with a biological science major. So that statistically would give us an acceptance rate of around 40.67%. That seems kind of high, okay? But let's look at other majors. So if we look closely at the data, we can see that physical sciences have an acceptance rate of 47.7%, math and statistics 47.38%, humanities 46.48%, biological sciences 40.67%, social sciences almost 40, other 38, and specialized health sciences, 
1971. So by looking at the data, having a biological science major uh, does not guarantee the highest acceptance rate. But remember that those are only averages and not rock solid evidence. And it's not because you're gonna go into physical science that you're gonna be accepted uh, more than someone who would be in biological science. So please take these numbers with a grain of salt because they're only averages. So now that the numbers are out of the way, um, on another note, once you get into medical school, having a biological science major will definitely be a major advantage, at least in my opinion. Uh, because most of the things you're going to see in the first year, at least on the first semester, are probably going to be stuff that you've already seen in your major. So that means that your learning curve is going to be less steep than someone who comes from a non-biological science major. So I can't tell you what is the best major for you because the best major for me might not be the best for you. So that being said, I strongly, strongly recommend um, that when you're going into a major, make sure that you read about all the courses that they have uh, what is the goal of the program and what kind of uh, things you can do afterwards. I recommend going to a major that really interests you um, because that way you're going to have better grades. Uh, like I said, from my personal experience, uh, after transferring, like one year after, uh, my grades really went up when I was in biomedical sciences, although the courses were arguably harder and more complex. It was really a different experience because I wasn't only studying uh, to get high grades, I was studying because I liked the subject. So I presented to you some evidence about the undergraduate majors in the United States as well as my personal thoughts on the topic. But now it's your decision to make. So tell me if you want to know something specific about undergraduate degrees and I'll try my best to answer your questions. Uh, so thank you everyone for watching. Please consider subscribing, liking and leave a comment if you have any question. Um, if you didn't see my previous videos, um, I'm going to link them right here and you can see my first week of medical school as well as my very first day of medical school. So thank you everyone for watching and see you in the next video.